Welcome to our journey through the profound mysteries of the Bible, where we delve into the extraordinary revelation of Jesus Christ before the very creation of the world. Guided by the timeless wisdom of Scripture, as we explore the bits of gel. But first, let's ponder this. Have you ever wondered about the divine nature of Jesus and his eternal existence? It's a question that has fascinated theologians, scholars, and seekers of truth throughout the ages. How did Jesus, the Son of God, reveal his identity even before the world began? What mysteries lie hidden within the pages of the Bible, waiting to be uncovered by those who seek to understand the profound nature of our Lord? Our journey begins with the recognition that the Bible is not just a book of stories and moral teachings. It's a living, breathing revelation of God's plan for humanity. In its pages, we find glimpses of eternity, divine wisdom, and the heart of our Creator. Among these treasures, we discover the prayer that Jesus prayed in John 17. The glory that unveils the holy and majesty of the self. Throughout the story, countless individuals were found solace guidance and purpose in the teachings of Jesus. His life, his words, and his divinity have left an indelible mark on human history. As we journey through John 17, we'll witness the profound connection between the Father and the Son and intimacy that transcends our earthly understanding. We'll explore the significance of Jesus in a quest to be glorified not for and will uncover the truth that Jesus, in his earthly ministry, glorified God in every aspect of his life, providing us with a model of devotion and obedience. Sir, as we embark on this adventure into the heart of John 17, the doors were join us in this exploration of divine mysteries, and may your faith be strengthened as we uncover the profound truths that lie within the pages of the Bible. In our quest to unravel the divine mysteries concealed within the pages of John 17, we find ourselves drawn into the very heart of Jesus. Relationship with his head we follow. This sacred chapter offers us a unique glimpse into the nature of prayer in the profound connection between the Son of Gil Mighty. Imagine for a moment the power of genuine prayer, the ability to lay bare one's into amongst thoughts and desires. It is in this intimate conversation between Jesus and his Father that we witness the depth of their communion. John 17 presents not just a prayer, but a sacred dialogue. A heartfelt conversation between the Son and the Father. As we delve deeper into this chapter, we encounter themes that resonate throughout the Gospel of John. Glory, glorification, mission belief, the world and love. Jesus who be's prayer asks to be glorified a request that might seem self sent However, we must recognize that his plea is not driven by selfish ambition, but rather by a profound concern for the Father's glory. Jesus and desire is rooted in his understanding of the divine relationship that the Son can only glorify the Father. Yet if the Father first responds to the Son's prayer, consider this. Jesus didn't wait until the pivotal moment of his crucifixion to bring glory to God the Father. Throughout his earthly life, every action, every word, every healing and every interaction with those around him was an offering of glory to God. Done his quiet years of obedience in Nazareth to his public ministry, Jesus radiated the Father's glory through his unwavering faith. Obedience and compassionate works, each sermon, each miraculous healing. But each encounter with courageous leaders was a testament to his commitment to glorify the Father. His life serves as a powerful reminder that our actions, too, can bring glory to God when we live in obedience to his will. Furthermore, 
as we journey through John 17. We witness that Jesus, Messiah, extends beyond his own glorification. 19. Not only for himself, but also for us, his followers. In verse 24, Jesus expresses his desire for those given to him by the Father to be with him and behold his glory. This profound truth illuminates our spiritual lag. Every aspect of our journey toward one is with Christ is made possible because Jesus has on our behalf. He provides us with a beautiful model of prayer, devotion, and intercession. So, as we continue our exploration of John 17, let's keep in mind the significance of Jesus with the Father. And the example is set for us. Together, we will uncover the profound mysteries of this chapter and allow them to shape our own prayers, actions, and understanding of the divine bond between the Son and the Father. As our journey through the intricate tapestry of John 17 draws to a close, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of a profound revelation. The prayer of Jesus recorded in this chapter offers us a window into the heart of God, a glimpse into the eternal relationship between the Father and the Son. It beckons us to contemplate the divine nature of our Savior, who shared in the glory of the Father before the foundation of the world. Through our exploration, we have witnessed the power of prayer as a sacred dialogue. An intimate conversation between Jesus and his heavenly Father it serves as a reminder that prayer is not merely a one-side request, but a communion of hearts, a connection that transcends time and space. In the prayer of Jesus, we find the model of the thinic, marked intercession, and an example of devotion that inspires us to approach the throne of grace with boldness. He also pondered the significance of Jesus, of Jesus, request for glory, recognizing that his desire was not self-centered, but driven by a deep. Every moment of Jesus, earthly life was a testament to his commitment to glorify God, reminding us that our actions, too, can bring glory to the Almighty when they are rooted in obedience and faith. Furthermore, we have marveled at the expansive love of Jesus, who let it night is not only for himself but for us, his followers. He longs for us to be with him and behold his glory, an invitation that extends to all who seek to know him. This truth then finishes our understanding of our journey toward oneness with Christ. As we conclude our exploration in John 17, let us carry with us the profound truths we have uncovered. Let us be inspired by the example of Jesus, who lived a life that radiated the Father's glory and who continues to intercede for us even now. May our prayers be transformed, our actions be infused with divine purpose and our hearts be drawn closer to the eternal love of our Savior. In the grand tapestry of the Bible, John 17 stands as a testament to the majesty and mystery of Jesus Christ. It invites us to embrace the truth that he is not merely a historical figure, but a living reality, the Son of God who existed before time itself. As we depart from this journey, may our faith be strengthened. Our hearts be filled with wonder, and our lives be forever changed by the revelation of Jesus Christ. The Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, who reigns for all eternity. Thank you for joining us on this spiritual expedition, and may your pursuit of truth and faith in the divine continue to lead your path.